Ja jest tutaj łupidu, są lajcy bros. Hello everyone and welcome. Today we'll be doing some lightsaber lightsaber effects. So let's start. First of all, we need to mask our sword or whatever light weapon we would like to get. So let's start. First of all, as always, copy the background layer, maybe even twice. And for this, we could use the selection brush tool, but it's not that perfect, I would say. Let's go with the pen tool. Click the pen tool and simply click all around the blade that we would like to paint and change our lightsaber. It does not have to be that specific, we can always change this later. And boom! As you can see we are selecting our blade. And what else? We can just simply click mask and that's it. We have our blade masked. So what we will do now? We want to change the color of course of that, so let's make it red. Select the regular brush, red color here, flow hardness, and let's just paint all over it. And as you can see we have our blade. It's not maybe perfect, but it will do for now. It doesn't look very lightsaber-ish, so let's add a little bit of a glow to that. So as in the Earthen effect we were doing, just click Outer Glow. Select color in the color picker we already have red. Just increase the radius and see what happens. As you can see there is a little bit of a glow. The blend mode I would change to normal. And boom. Obviously the middle of the blade looks a little bit different. What can we do about that? We can try to paint this a little bit harder. So we can get rid of the texture from the blade itself, from the metal. As for a medieval light sword, it looks pretty much, I would say, decent. decent. And pretty much that's it guys. This is how you do a lightsaber effect on anything you want. Just mask it, preferably use a pen tool, depends on the shape. When you have masked this, just paint this with a color, for example red as here. And then add the, as you can see here in the, menu, in the layer effects, the outer glow change. Choose a similar color or it might be the same. Increase the radius and work out with the intensity. As you can see here, intensity doesn't work as we want, we want this to be a glowy effect, so let's reduce this a little bit, eventually play with the opacity and with the blend mode. I set this to normal, by default it's green as I remember. And that's it guys! Easy to remember, fun to play with, that's it. If you want more examples, stick around. Let's do a Godric Gryffindor Slytherin version. So this is our sword, and this is a little bit more complicated. First of all we need to remove those handles. Then we will have to fix the name, because when we will remove those handles we will get rid of those three letters. D, R and I. We will have to copy those letters from here. And then it's pretty much the same. Mask the blade, paint the blade in with green eventually sharpen up the name and add the glow. So let's kick it off and see what happens. Choose the first always copy the background layer, choose the end painting tool with J. And let's try to remove this. Try to be as precise as possible, it will make life a lot easier. And... Okay, not bad. I think we might be able to live with that. 
Okay, as you can see, our friend is starting to copying stuff all around. Let's add a little bit more so it will catch and yeah, exactly. And replace this part. Okay, to change this, we need to actually use the clone brush tool, which will pretty much will paint over those parts with the parts that are okay, meaning those ones. Reduce the flow a little bit and let's just make it as realistic as possible. And then we'll zoom out and see if it actually works for us. Let's try to fix the blade here a little bit. We will mask the blade anyway, so it's not a big deal. Maybe we'll be able just to see some of the issues. Okay, let's try and clone stamp a little bit here to just simply build a little bit more realistic. And painting brush tool, okay. Let's zoom out. Okay, there is a little bit of dirt here. Let's try and clone stamp this. Like this, yeah, it pretty much works. So clone stamp and just simply paint this over. Like that. Okay, I will leave it as this and let's remove that part. In painting tool, let's select this and see how it goes. Okay, not bad also. This, I think, we will have to use the clone brush. And let's focus on that part here. Nicely gone, very nice, very nice indeed. Okay, so the handles are gone. Okay, we can see maybe a little bit. Let's try to use the patch tool and just simply replace everything here. Clone brush, sorry, not that. Clone brush and let's remove that small part here because it's annoying. A lot better, yes. Okay, so there's that. Let's name our layer clean sword so what now we will have to do is actually to remove those that part here all of that make it clean and then copy the letters from the gryffindor name and create the name from scratch how do we do it clone stamp tool with letter s just mark here and just simply paint over here. As you can see, it's a little bit problematic because when I'm trying to paint on the edges, it will take the edges from here also. Let's simply get rid of those letters.
maybe increase the flow so it will be a lot faster. A little bit of end paint to fix for that. Sorry, that tool. Perfect. How does it look? Okay, it's not bad, but this is something we need to fix address here. Okay, like that. Is it that much visible? Well, there are some issues indeed. Let's just try and use the end paint tool to make it a lot smoother and Realistic. Okay, not bad. So now we can use the patch tool. And I would start with rectangular mercury tool. So, Godric Gryffindor. Let's go with letter D. Let's mark letter D. We have this marked. Now we click on the patch tool. And click selection source. And boom. We have our selection as a source, so we can pretty much copy and stamp this whatever we want. And let's do this. And we have the letter D. Let's do the same for the letter R. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, we are only learning the rules and the basics. Now the patch tool. Godric. Okay, this doesn't look that good. But we'll fix this later. Doesn't matter. And letter I. Okay, pretty much perfection. And let's try to fix this a little bit. Let's try the end painting too. Will it help? Yes. Look, all those blues that are not as nice as we would like are gone. There's a little bit too much of a white color going on, so let's just paint it over a little bit. Yeah, I would say it's pretty decent. And let's just stick with this. Those are the main rules how can you do this and that's it so now let's mask the blade turn it green and make it a lightsaber the slytherin version let's copy the layer just in case select the pen tool and let's start with this here just make a rough selection it doesn't have to be perfect we are just learning it should be if anything this should be fun for you and boom now the edge of the blade and boom and what do we know now we click mask and we have the curve inside here. So now we choose our brush and let's pick green. Perfection. As you can see here, we can mask the blade. We can still see the Godric Gryffindor inscriptions. And let's add the glow, outer glow, color, with the color picker let's choose a little bit darker red, click on the color, set the radius, just like kryptonite. Okay, so pretty much we have it. What can we do next? I would personally 
I mean, do you think that it's a lightsaber? Not really, it's rather a green, green glowing sword. Maybe we can add more green color into it. Like that. This looks a little bit more lasery like. The inscription is still a little bit there. The glow effect, is it enough? I would say it's decent. Let's change it from screen to normal. This is looking totally differently right now. And always increase the radius as much as we want. Try to play with the blending modes. Like for example, lighten and screen. Screen looks pretty actually good. So guys, there's that. We have a Slytherin version of Godric Gryffindor's sword from Harry Potter. So let's go further. The next example. We have our samurai. And let's make this katana blade a mace wind one. And we will have to paint then some purple light onto our subject. So, the usual. Copy the background layer. Use the pen tool. And let's mask the blade. It can be a rough masking because we still will add a lot of glow so it won't be that visible. It doesn't have to be that perfect. We just learn the rules. Okay, we have our selection. We click here, mask, and it is masked. Let's change the color to mace window color, something like that. Choose the paintbrush, the regular one. Sorry. Choose the color and paint over it. Now, in this example, it doesn't really look that good, I would say. Not yet. But I will tell you what I have in mind in a second. Let's do the outer glow. Let's choose the color. And set the outer glow. Okay, it is glowing, but it's not glowing as I would like it to glow, actually. Let's add a little bit more. The radius. Or maybe change to normal. Normal, no. Lighten. Yeah, screen looks the best. And the blade, because this is so close to us, it's very square, like we can see this. And the lightsaber usually is blurry. So what can we do? We can just simply add blur. So we have our outer glow, and let's add a little bit Gaussian blur to this. To this. You see now? It's totally different. Look at that. And look at that. Let's add a little bit more. This is even better. I personally like to see some texture inside. I mean, at least a little bit. In the original one, of course, it will be perfect. Because adding that much blur... Will... This is obviously too much. So let's lower it down. And I would keep it like that. Maybe let's change the outer glow a little bit, because the color is quite different. It should be a little bit lighter, I would say, maybe. That here. We can always lower the opacity. Yeah, pretty much. I like that. So we have this. Now, the face of our samurai should also be... Pretty much pink, because the sword is glowing and shining all around, so let's add a pixel layer, just a regular layer, nothing fancy. Let's grab the pink, the pink brush tool, the paint brush tool that is pink, is a regular, I got something like that. And let's paint, actually. Let's set the flow to 2%, hardness to 2, and... Where we would see the highlights from the lightsaber. 
definitely somewhere around so that's obviously too much so we have our sword the sword is glowing it's emanating light so we have to paint our samurai pretty much around everywhere more or less so this will be more realistic right so grab a paint brush tool set it to pink as i did regular brush regular round light brush you can pick up from the basic menu and set the color to pink and just slowly brush it in i'm usually setting the flow to two or one percent we add this little bit here his face will be also lit up just don't overdo it don't be afraid of overdoing because it will we will be blending this later on so it will be a lot easier for us and we will all we will want to add those colors only to the highlights this is just some rough adding of the color and let's add this a little bit on his hand in those highlight areas the knuckles and here at least from that side I'm erasing right now the parts of the fingers that should be in shadow, so there will be no light there. Let's add a little bit here. It's just a rough estimate, guys. Nothing fancy. Okay, so we have our pinkish light, more or less, and let's try to set it to overlay. Look at that. Works quite well. Soft light, hard light. Our light also works quite well. I'm not happy with the kimono, but I would give it with overlay. And now I would increase the flow a little bit and pink, uh, paint a little bit here. Just to highlight everything a little bit further. Just attach. Okay guys, this is it. So pretty much this is how you do a lightsaber effect in Affinity Photo or in Photoshop. It's pretty much the same. First of all, mask the sword of the element that will be laser or lightsabery element. For instance here, simple masking Paint this with red, add a blur if you want to or not, and in the layer effect menu just add the outer glow, that's it. You can leave or not the internal textures of the original object. Here it's pretty much the same, it was of course cleaned, because the original photo looks like that. We delete anything we don't want to, we mask the blade. We painted it with green, we added a little bit of blur, sorry we didn't add blur here, we just added the outer glow. And we actually kept the shape very very swordy like. So it's pretty much more or less a very very glowing sword instead of a lightsaber, but hey, you know how to do it. And here we have a lightsaber katana from Mace Windu, and additionally what was the tricky part is to add highlights to the character that actually holds the weapon remember that if you want anything to be realistic always and always remember about the light and that's it especially when you're blending two things but here this is just the basic rules it's not perfect obviously but it works we always can crop it out so it will look a lot better like for example let's try and make something like that this is a lot better because everything that is not in the frame and we didn't colorize it's not there but his face is pretty much glowing i would eventually add a little bit pink here so let's add this brush pink yeah 
maybe a tad of color here, also here, because those lightsabers usually were very, very bright. And that's it, guys. This one is my favorite. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you learned something. If you will create any lightsaber effects, hit me up in the comment section and see you later.